Welcome to Wildcats Weekly. Welcome to Sports Recaps of the Week. I'm Brooke. And I'm Kiki. The 8th grade 18 placed first in volleyball districts on Saturday. Congratulations to Paige Regina, Jordan Siski, Dakota Hope, Kara Griffin, Shaylin McCarley, Nevaeh Chevelle, uh, Chevelle Stevenson, Caden Spire, Sienna Lowe, Haley Mayberry, and Ava Harold. You all did great this season. 8th grade B team placed second in districts. Great job to Kendall Berger, Quincy Evans, Caitlin Flynn, Cora Faust, Avery Lees, Lily Merritt, Sienna Marshall, Addison Miller, Darby Sager, Michaela Sims, Raylan Straw, Adriana Sullivan, and Riley Omahoney. A shout out to the manager, Madison Smallwood, and a special thanks to the coaches, Mrs. Cheney and Mrs. Regina. Another team that placed in first for the districts is a 7th grade A team. was awesome team effort from all the girls, Ella Regina, Cameron McDonald, and Katie Cassidy scored multiple points for their team. Hadley Bush, Alea Phillip, Maggie Cook, Callie Clark, Ella Regina, and Bella Schiller had amazing attacks at the net, and Destiny Heard, Briar Christian, and Kate Story did spectacular in the back row. The seventh grade B team also did fabulous by landing in second at their districts. Piper Hendricks, Kelsey Potts, Victoria Frank, Gracie Farman, Ember Meyer, Kevin Bauer, Hannah Johnson, Harry Ma Ar Marianne Mosher, Jody Sorensen, Sarah Gwynn, and Taylor O'Mahoney all did amazing. Excellent work, volleyball players. Um, the cross country team ran at Pioneer Golf Course for gift tricks. The girls did absolutely amazing, getting first as a team with Anya Lowe in first, Sammy Newburn in third, and Brooke. Brooke Hayes in fourth, uh, Silver Goldade in fifth, Taylor Marge in seventh, Ellen McCormick in eighth, Aria Dixon in twelfth, Sandy Mosier in thirteenth, Atika Thomas in seventeenth. All the girls improved so much and ran really well. The boys team did outstanding, placing second as a team, led by Buck Coe in seventh, Alex Cassie in eighth, Bridger Bowman in ninth, Aiden Westby in tenth, um, Brady Jessup in eleventh, Dallas Ross in fourteenth. Rafael Yurov in 16th, E.J. Meyer in 18th, Jacob Frandis in 19th, Caleb Boris in 23rd, and Riker Ackley in 24th. The boys ran impressively well. Good job. The 8th graders, Buck Coe, E.J. Meyer, and Brooke Hayes will be missed next year. Thank you, Mr. Bogard. Terrific work at districts, everyone. And this is the end of Sports Recaps of the Week from Brooke and Kiki. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. Hello KMS, and welcome back to the weekly weather report with Owen and Finn. Next week it's going to be pretty rain, so make sure you pack it. Oh, sorry. Continue. As I was saying, along with the rain, it's going to be pretty chilly. So when you, when you plan on heading out for Halloween, make sure you make sure you pack. Make. Sit still. This chair is Oh, just cut. It's going to be chilly with all the rain we're going to have, so make sure you pack a coat on Monday when you're trick or treat. <laughs> That's all for the weekly weather report. Owen and Finn signing off. Let me a cow. No, you lost your moving privileges. Hello, Kellogg Middle School. Today we're going to be interviewing Brooke Hayes, Mrs. Jennings, and Mr. Rich. Hi, Brooke. Are you ready for your question? Yep. Okay. So, what is your favorite song? Your song by Elton John. What do you like about that song? The lyrics are really calm and sweet, and they are really nice to fall asleep to. Okay. Thank you for that. And now on to Elton. Hello, Mrs. Jennings. We have one question today, and that question is, what is your favorite band? Maroon 5. Okay, and what's your favorite song from Maroon 5? Girls Like You. <laughs> That's great. Now on to Matthew. Today I'm interviewing Mr. Rich. 
So, Miss Rich, what's your favorite album? Uh, Led Zeppelin's fourth. Nice. Okay, what's your favorite song from the album? Stairway to Heaven. Nice. Thanks for watching Interviews with Ella, Matthew, and Kara. This, this is the joke, joke of the week with Peyton, Cam, and Cadence. <laughs>into wrestling so I want to just be like him. Would you want to do wrestling as like a job or like in the Olympics? Eggs. Yeah, I would want to be in the Olympics. It would be pretty cool. Have you ever like looked up to someone like... Yeah, my dad and this uh, professional wrestler named Jordan Bales. Nice. Is it easy for you to do or do you think it's harder it's, for other? It's harder for other people because like you gotta learn all the moves and you gotta be professional at it but when you get better it's fun. I'm Porter Lewis and that's Emmett and that was the student spotlight. Hi, I'm Piper. And I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Weekly, weekly Trivia questions. questions. We're going to ask you a question you can drop off your answer at the office during advisory. And only advisory. But guys, please write your full name and answer in big bold writing. So that, that way we don't have to spend 30 minutes trying to do this after them. Because if we can't read them, then they will go into the horrible, awful, deadly trash can. Anyways, now for the question. What country did Halloween originate from? There are two correct answers. The first country is an island all in itself in Europe along the coastlines. The other one is in the northern half of the British Isles. All, Hall all Hallows Eve is the real name for Halloween, which is part of the ancient feast Samhain, which was to celebrate the harvest and celebrate also the end of summer. Think you got it right? We shall see. And again, I'm Piper. And I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Weekly Trivia Questions. questions. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> I'm Brayden and I'm Carson and we will be talking about upcoming events. On October 31st, there will be a trunk or treat at Silver Mountain. It will start at 6 p.m. and end at 7 p.m. On November 3rd, there will be a wrestling meet. On November 11th, there will be a Veterans Day Assembly. I'm Brayden and I'm Carson and those are your upcoming events. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Wildcats Weekly. Make sure to catch us at the same time next week. But until then, have a wonderful weekend.